An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. USGA Rule 4.1A2 might have saved these damage clubs from abandon. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, Performance-enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.
Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules. But not for long, if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. Chased by a shark, it's always best to escape to a respectful distance. Scientists who study sharks say that they are more motivated by curiosity than predation. It would be more practical simply to close the beaches. But why do that when you can just set loose a gang of amphetamine-fueled locals with guns?
come every year to Baton Tordu. Because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals to taste as nutritional as body parts than a $450 lamb? is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Port Clovis retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action. But mankind... This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline.
shrill chorus of ankle bracelet alarms fills the air as shark hunters lead their homes to trap our bull shark. Sinking sharks a lot more better than sinking butts. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet.
Leading the Red Tide has become an annual tradition in Port Clovis. Every June, locals gather to watch the toxic algae bloom's sinister encroachment on the city's coastline and beaches. Baton Tordu was built just in time for the slow decline of golf as a popular sport. The shark hunter is the only thing keeping tourists from a nasty, horrible death, outside of just avoiding the beach for a few hours. It's Rogue Shark, for now. I see that hole there? Sunk it in one shot back in 93. And if Cliff Giddens will tell you I didn't, he'll lie.
see, the Gulf Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacations. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Another danger on the water for shark hunters? Determined process servers, their boats laden with bench warrants and affidavits. These good people parties always end in a fight over whether Poodle Wheat and Terrier mix should be called a Woodle or a Weedle. Shark Hunt draws to a close. Bubba Fondo and the Barracuda Boys were voted Port Clovis' best party band three years running. Curiously, none of the boys are actually their tools.
even for a finely tuned predator. Visibility underwater is limited to a few dozen feet. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm.
Sultan of Speed, the Mako. and aggressive, the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Thank <laughs> you. 